What's up everybody? Unkempt here, obviously. Well, sadly, we have sad news again. Um, I mean, there's always sad news in the world and everything. You know, there's always people passing away. But yesterday, um, like a lot of people, I found out that um, BMX legend, um, rally cross driver, just all, all around good guy to me, I think. Um, Dave Mir apparently took his life um, 41 years old, um, I'm not reading anything, I'm just looking down at a, at my keyboard, basically, um, I mean, it sucks, you know, I don't know why it's affecting me this bad, like, I guess it's just the mix of everybody that has come and gone, and to know that, you know, he was 41, he was not much older than me, I mean, a little bit, but, I mean, he was a legend, and I literally... I really just looked up to him, you know. Um, I was really big into the X Games and stuff when that came out and started up. And, you know, he came on board. And <laughs> he's what got me into the BMX part of it, you know. Before, it was kind of like the skateboarding and everything. But I really liked bikes. You know, I was into bikes. You know, dirt bikes, regular bikes. And I even started to do, you know, tricks with my my little old bike I don't even remember what it was called but um because of watching that and um he really influenced me as far as you know wanting to dare myself to do things not just him I'm not going to sit here and say that you know make this a sob story about me it's not it's a sad thing because you know a guy who you know had so much life left just <laughs> took it away um, I'm not going to say one thing or another about the suicide because, as as you guys know, I do suffer from depression, bipolar disorder, and it's it's hard. And, you know, for whatever reason, he thought it was that. That was his way, um, apparently. Um, who knows? Kind of like Robin Williams. It was like, wow. But, uh, you know, he, you know, Dave was, you know, he inspired me, like I said, to take risks in certain things. And, um, you know, just, I don't even know how to explain it, man. I mean, it's weird. People sit there and go, how can somebody like that, you know, somebody who rides a bike and does this, you know, inspire you? And they just do in some kind of way, you know? I mean, whether you know it at the time or not. And that was the one thing I always look forward to when it came to the X Games. And, um anything that came on about that you know not just the x games but the x games is mainly where you got to see you know that stuff that type of you know the stunts and all that kind of things and you know it's just it's just a great loss um my heart goes out to his his wife his kids the rest of his family and his friends that actually really you know actually knew him um you know it's just it's just suicide is just it's not the answer, but but being there, I can understand. But at the same time, it's just like, wow. You know, I'm sorry. But I just felt like doing this little dedication thing to him because, you know, he did mean something to me. <clears throat> and I'm sorry for basically crying like a baby. Um, but, you know... I mean, I didn't, you know, see him, you know, I hadn't seen him do anything in quite a long time. Um, you know, he got into the rally cross thing, and, of course, I really, I just got rid of my TV. I got tired of paying the bill, but that's the one thing I've always missed when it came on was the X Games, and whenever it came on to channels that I did decide to, that I could get, I tried to catch it and everything, and, you know, he was just always a favorite, you know. He was just, like, he was my favorite, you know. It was like Dave Mir. It was like he, he, he was like the almighty powerful. But, um, you know, for whatever reason, he decided not to be with us anymore. And I'm going to miss you, bud. And like I said, huge, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. But as I said, you know, just my, my condolences go out to his family, his family you know, real life friends, and, you know, everybody, you know, that he's touched in some way, he touched me, <laughs> that sounds so bad, I'm sorry, even, that's, I guess, me trying to be kind of funny about it, 
is my way of dealing with it. But, you know, he, he made an impression on me enough to where I went out and I rode my bike and tried to do things like that. I knew I was never going to be able to get into that, you know, league as him, but it was still fun to pretend that, you know, I could do that kind of thing. You know, I'm sorry that this seems kind of like just squashed together and everything. I don't know why, like I said, I just, I just feel like I needed to say something and get it off my chest because I haven't really had anybody to, you know, really talk to about it that might understand. And I know there's a lot of you out there that probably do understand. And, um, yeah, man, we'll miss you, Dave. <laughs>